Kiel Sigi Men, Švento Jau Aškovo Pauliaus Antrojo Vaiško Parinkėčiams. Broliai, kas sykčia sėja, sykčia įgi pjaus, o kas tos nei sėja, tos nei įgi pjaus. Kiek vienas tevo pakoja, kaip yra šį dyją nutarės, negalės temas, negalėdamas, ar persi verčiamas, nes Dievas vienį veiksmą tavėja. Dievas gali jūs apipildi viso kelio kumės malonėmis, kad visuomet ir visais atžvilgiais būtumėte atrūpinti ir galėtumėte tos neįgintis, bet kokiu gerbo darbu, kaip parašyta, jis parašė, jis pažėdė, padalyjo vardiniams, jo teisumas amžiais išlieka. Pasai, kuris parūpina seiklos sėjėjui ir duonos valdytojui, parūpins jums seiklos, padaugins ją ir padės jau presti jūsų gerą darybės vaizdams. Tai Dievo žodis. Atliepamoji santė. Laimėgas, kas nuo širdžiai vyktų jau įsakymus, Ja, jo padėkuojant galėjai palaimė tą dorojų kartą. Ja, žmogui, kuris yra tos nus ir skolina. Ja, žmogui, kuris yra tos nus ir skolina, kuris sažiningai tvarko savo reikalus, jis visada tvirtas, žmonės visada atmens teisų žmogų. Ja, žmogui, kuris yra tos nus ir skolina. Jis nebijos gautų plaukų žinios, jo širdis cirta, pasitikinti viešpačiai. Jo širdis patvali, jis nesibaimina ir ilgai jau priešaikus nukalėti. Gerą žmogui, kuris yra tos nus ir suodinta. Jis duos neiduoda bet turčiams, niekada neįsenka jo tos numas, jis didis ir gerbinamas. Sako vieš pats. Jėzus kalbėjo savo mokinėms. Iš tiesų, iš tiesų, sakau jums, jie kvečių grūdas kritės į žemę nemirs, jis liks vienas. O jie mirs, jis duos gausų bet vaisių. Kas mili savo gyvybę, ją pražiūdys. O kas nekenčia savo gyvybės šiemdą pasaulyje, Išaukos ją amžinajame gyvenime. Kas nori man parnauti, tegul seka paskui mane. Kur aš esu, ten bus ir mano parnas. Kas man parnaus, ta pagerbs mano tėmas. Girdėjo tik ieškatės žodį. Being in my 35th year of priesthood, I have done many weddings and the opportunity to officiate with many young and older couples. 
And one of the things that I have added to the preparation occurs at the rehearsal. So we've gone through all the mechanics, and I bring back the bridal party and their family before they go out to the rehearsal dinner to sit in the church. And I place the young couple to face them in the front. And I tell the people gathered, this is your opportunity. I'd like you to give your advice to this young couple on the nights before they marry on how is it that they will have a successful marriage. How is it that they could be this sacrament for us? And surely the usual responses come. Things like love unconditionally. I'd expect that. <laughs> Never go to bed angry. Oh, that's probably some pretty good advice. You know? Respect the other person always. Learn how to laugh at one another. Always. That sounds okay. Inevitably, somebody comes to and says, you have to learn how to compromise. Most people who are married would probably agree with that. That there's a lot of compromise in love. But I don't know if I agree with that. Probably because I'm not married. But I don't agree with that. You see, marriage and compromise seem to go together in the relationship secular world. But here we come to celebrate sacrament. And as with every sacrament, we not only encounter Christ, we become the mirror of Christ for the world, including the cross. Look at the cross. There's one over there, there's one over there, there's another one over there. Crosses are all around. Look at any of these crosses. Do they look like a compromise to you? The cross is not about compromise. It's about sacrifice. A willingness to give all for another. And that is what we are called to with every sacrament of the church. From the moment of our baptism. Willing to give all for another. The gospel passage today from John seems to Remind us of that. Unless the grain of wheat falls to the ground, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it falls and dies, it produces much fruit. Well, all of that is very positive and exciting. But then the next phrase, I don't know. Hate this life if you want eternal life. That seems like worse very harsh, at best a little confusing. Hate this life. But if we were to understand it in the context of Jesus' speaking to the people, to the students, to the disciples, he's speaking about eternal life. And if we look at the original Greek, it's not about this great dislike of this life. It's about the unwillingness to turn away from this life in order to have eternal life. In a, will, a willingness of not being possessed and consumed with the things of this life. This is, in order to be set free. That is the goal. To be set free and inherit eternal life. To experience the kingdom in this life. This is the hate that the gospel speaks about. Sacrifice, then, is not some sad burden upon us in which we walk around like, oh, mamma mia, everything is so bad. We don't love people like that in the world. But sacrifice is about a joyful freedom that we have encountered something that is setting us free from the trappings of earthly existence. If we look at the life of St. Lawrence, the 
that we celebrate and commemorate today with the church. Born in the, living in the third century, the time of Christian persecution, Lawrence was a deacon, one of only two, I believe, that have ever been canonized. Lawrence was a deacon who was called upon by Sixtus II, the Pope, to be the economo, the carer of treasures of the Diocese of Rome. That was his job. At the time, Valerian, who was the emperor, was confiscating property particular church property. He wanted the treasures. And so he demanded this of Valerian and of Sixtus. But Valerian was a little clever. He would take the goods, the riches, the treasures of the church, and he gave them to the poor. And for this reason, the service of the deacon is often seen as service of the poor. So Valerian was giving away, I, Lawrence was giving away the riches to the poor. This obviously got the Emperor Valerian a little upset. So he, come, he gathers up all the bishops, the priests, and the deacons of the church, and systematically beheads them. Says, I'll show you. Except for Lawrence. Because, as they say, it ain't funny, it's all about the money. And Lawrence had control of the money. So he calls Lawrence and he says, I have a deal for you, Lawrence. I will spare your life if you give me the treasures of the church. And Lawrence says, I'll need some time. There's a lot of treasures. I need to gather them up. And Valerian agrees and says, go. Gather for me the treasures of the church. And after three days, Valerian says, okay, time's up. I want to see the treasures of the church. Lawrence brings him into this large area and says, Here are the treasures of the church. The poor, the sick, the outcasts, the neglected, the nobodies of the Roman Empire. These are the treasures of the church. Didn't make Valerian very happy. That's not what he was looking for. He immediately condemns Lawrence to death. But beheading would be too kind to him. He decides he's going to put him on a fire and slowly roast him. And the story goes that as Lawrence is lying there on the fire, he leans over to the man tending the fire and he says, I think I'm done on one side. Could you turn me over to the other side? <laughs> Paul writes to the Philippians that Christ desires a cheerful gift. Lawrence understood this. To the end, he was willing to give all. To the end, he had his eye on the real treasure of the kingdom of God. And it's not about gold and silver and land and buildings, but it's about the people, particularly the poor. And to the end, he remained a cheerful giver. A martyr for the church. I don't know if you think you're going to be a martyr. My guess is most of us don't expect to be martyrs in the church. I don't know if any of us would be willing to be martyrs in the church. I'm glad I get to wear red like this, but this is about as close to martyrdom that I could ever find myself at. But there is another martyr that we read about. And the spiritual fathers call this the white martyrdom. It's a giving of ourselves to another in sacrificial love. We give something of ourselves to another in a sacrificial way of love. Who are these white martyrs? Consider the caretaker of an elderly parent or the caretaker of a handicapped child. When they do it with joy, they become the martyrs. Consider a parent who works two or three jobs and gives up the new car and gives up the yearly vacation in order to send their children to a Catholic school. And they do it for joy. They are the white martyrs. Consider all the frontline workers over these past 18, 19 months who 
who have not only risked their own health and lives, but have put countless hours in caring for the others and sick. These are the white martyrs. These are those who have given of themselves in a loving way. Consider a college student with the opportunity to go on a wonderful spring break, break vacation at Daytona Beach or Cancun, Mexico, but instead chooses to go to Ecuador to, to build a well or find a well for the people who have, for a village that has no more water. Another sacrifice, white marble. Consider any of us when we are willing to give of ourselves for the needs of another, for the poor, for the sick, for any need. And when we do it cheerfully, cheerful, with joy, then we are not the red martyrs that shed blood, but we are the white martyrs that are sharing love in a very special way. In a world that needs to feel, to feel that way. This no longer a sad burden to carry. I must die, Jesus. But a joyful freedom that I am living for Christ. In this way, we mirror the cross to a world that doesn't always understand. In this way, we are sad. Brangi e susirinti e kaik vierna, a teiti ninkish ka sheima pe Christos autaros, prashike me jo malone sao ir visa zmonia. Ušio krašto ir Lietuvos svadio žmonės, ka dievas laimėtų jų užsimojimus rūpintis į visų įventų jų gerbinų ir ka jie nepakerstų priespartos neteisėgumo, smurto ir navo meldžiame. Iš kukriuosios ir turinčius vardėmių dvasę, už persakėjo mūsus, už tos, kurie velkia, už tos, kurie trokšta teisybės meldžiame. Iš kukriuosios ir turinčius vardėmių dvasę, už ligonius, kad vieni jie mas su Kristu bingostų juos dam iškąjį meldėmį, Meidžiame. Už mūsų artimuosius ir ateitininkų šeimos mirusius. Tadžiaugia jie amžina jie laimę, kuri laukia mėnyčių dievą. Meidžiame. Mes vienai iš pustabė, kad kiekvieną kartą dalyvaudami iš metuose bišiuose, stiprintume savo pasirežimą sekti Kristumi, Ir visą jame atnaujo dūmį. To prašome. Iš tos vietos viešas. Menskime už visus mūsų mirusius. Žemėje valdyje sustangaus duoną. Te gyvenoje amžanai danguje. To prašome. Iš tos vietos viešas. Tyloje įsakykime savo intencijas. O dabar visi kartu medžiame. Iš tos vietos viešpatį. Tai prašome, kad Jėzus Kristus. 